comes with me Riddle out every shadow you see Ring a bell, shake a crawl Give them hell, whatever the cost Summon all the rain Say a word against the enemies of sea Sorry, Ben, and sorry, everybody. <laughs> like, you're just gonna have to bear with me because this is little like prob timing is everything in life. Providence, like, this shoe has been sitting, you all have been watching it sit on the rack right there. Three months, four months. Sorry, Topo. It's just like there's just so many shoes, and actually, I, I'm developing a new strategy for running shoe companies soon if you want your shoe to jump to the top of the, the testing list. It's just there's so many shoes, okay? So this is the Topo Ultra Venture 3. And this is an email from Ben. And Ben, frankly, this is probably, this is really, <laughs> this, this was sent a long time ago. I'm just going to put it that way. But I have to read it because it, it made me laugh, Ben. He says, I'm, I am anxious, anxiously awaiting a review on those green Topo trail shoes. You keep moving around the table like a garnish on a steak platter. I've been using Ultra Lone Peaks and Superiors for years but find the latest offerings no longer feel the same. No shocker there because Ultra was sold and bought out and I've heard a lot of Ultra fans are no longer fans of Ultra. Uh, and those are the shoes, the zero drop shoes and the shoes with really big uh, toe boxes. Ben, buy this shoe. And you probably already have and thank you for your patience in the full review. I am shocked. I'm shocked. By the way, this is the first Topo Full shoe to make it to 50, uh, sorry, 25 miles because it's a trail shoe, Topo. All right, so there you go. There's the specs on your screen, and there is, well, I'll give it a second to breathe. There are the full review scores as well. Under, this was mind blowing considering kind of a little bit of the girth of the shoe. Uh, and, you know, just the overall volume of that midsole and how big it is, is the weight. Under nine ounces, just by a hair. But anything under 10 ounces, I'm happy with. Anything under 9 ounces, and I'm like blown away. And especially for this, I was shocked by that. And I'll, I'll answer the question right now. It is a classic commuter shoe. It will, you can take it on the trails, but you could 100% commute to the trails. The outsole is strategically placed rubber, Vibram outsole, okay, but it's not completely lathered with that Vibram outsole rubber. And the, the, the depth of the, the lugs is not in credit. In fact, I'm going to put them at two to three millimeters. All right. So you're, you're going to be just fine commuting to the trails in the shoe. But some issues I've had with Ultra in the past is that I'm swimming almost too much in the toe box. Not the case in the top. It just the ergonomics and the ge geometric shaping of how the upper is attaching and reacting to that midsole. It was something special. I don't, it's, I, again, I, um, I'm a little blown away. And even though it's a little bit of a, okay, there's the stack height on your screen, a, a little bit higher, but it doesn't feel like you're going to be wobbly out there on the trails either. All right. So there's that outsole, uh, soak it in. And, and also the, uh, the width of the outsole, the landing was just really, really Nice. It is just, it is an engineered mesh upper. It's nothing to write home about. It is a full gusset on that tongue. The tongue, you know, it probably could use a little more padding at some point, if, but it really laid on top of the foot nicely. It wasn't cumbersome. It was not in the way of your lacing and how you liked, how I like to lace up my shoes. Like it, it just laid on top of the foot really well. But, but I will say toward the top, right when you're really wrenching in, it wouldn't, it might be nice to add just a little more padding there toward the top of the tongue, just to make sure it's, uh, you know, that you're not feeling the laces on the top of your foot. It's not a plush heel counter, but I love, I love, I love this. It's the angle of the heel counter. Uh, but you know, it, it really, it kind of, it's a little aggressive. I will say that much, but it, it leans in. So you really feel locked into that heel pocket. So good work there. And I don't know what else to say. Like it's, it's not an overly complex upper, but it just gets the job done. We're looking at, I'm going to pull it out. The ortho light 
Uh, sock liner, love that. Arch support was spot on. All right, it says on this, powered by Ortholite, high rebound foam. Um, so I just, it feels like you're, you're getting a little bit of support out there, especially for these long, and how would I use this shoe? I would go definitely long run, out on the trails, you know? I'm excited to take this, I continue to train in it this summer, because I'm gonna be doing high volume and this shoe is not gonna get a retirement. You will sh see the shoe again throughout the summer when I'm out there doing those, you know, 17 to 23, or when I go up and down Pikes Peak, you know, 26, 27 mile long runs, I will be using the shoe to get up and down, and especially with that kind of weight under step. So uh, I love that Ortholite in there for the sock liner. Zip foam for the midsole, and let's do the thumb test. Oh man, see that's what I was so skeptical, it's Wow, it's almost soft, but the durometer would tell a different story. I'm trying to think what I was, I'm trying to remember what I was, yeah, 43, oh, it's perfect. It's just perfect, it's not too soft, but man, soft enough, it's called zip foam. I love it, I love it. It's not like throwing the thumbs back crazy, but for long runs on the trails, I'm not really looking for that, for it to throw the, th throw the thumbs back. I just want a good supportive ride that's got a little bit of forgiveness for the long days out. You know, those two plus, three plus hour runs when you're out there on a big adventure, all right? It's the Vibram XS Trek Evo for that outsole. That's what they're calling it. And there you go, $150. I'm liking it, you know, if it was 140 doing backflips, but 150, totally okay with that price point topo. Um, I'm bullish, I don't know what to, in fact, I'm so bullish, it's, whoa, over here, it's going in. You better believe it, it hit the eights for the full review score. Um, in fact, it hit 8.0 right on the nose. You know, maybe in the future, we could uh, spice up that, <laughs> that, that all green, I like, kind of like it because it blends in with, if you're out there and you, you don't want to be seen, but man, maybe a little little extra zest in that uh, colorway. It's a, you're not going to be seen out there, that is for sure, in this colorway. So what's interesting about this shoe, and other shoes to buy, I, I couldn't think, of, I mean, almost, almost Ultra Glide 2, there's the Ultra Glide 2, but it's not as, I'll just say, as big or as bulkier or cumbersome under step as the Moore Trail V3 from New Balance or the Brooks Caldera 6, okay? That's that guy up there. I just like, it's a little more streamlined, not as, not as girthy, which is, it's kind of nice. So you, know, you don't have to worry about tripping over the rocks as much, at least when I get a shoe that's really a big boat on my feet. Sometimes I feel like, ah, I'm gonna trip out there. Comment of the day, this is just a reminder, frankly, for me, Construct MTL says, please do keep mo mentioning narrow fits for us people with narrow needs. This is not a narrow shoe, all right? So good, thank you for the comment and the reminder. This is for this, that toe box, like you're gonna be able to splay in there, which again, when you're not concerned for me going fast on the trails, just getting the miles in, that's what I like for a toe box fit. All right, there you go, question of the day. It's concert season, you better believe it. What's the most memorable concert you have ever been to? and why all right it's it's warming up finally in colorado it's i'm so excited for summer it's summer concert season at red rocks and wherever you go see your concerts what is the most memorable concert you've ever been to and why thanks for tuning in i'm shocked topo good work all right trail run actually no best trail running shoe playlist right there best trail running shoe playlist right there mm, so good all right seek beauty Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.